welcome back in here for another NBA offseason guide. In this one, we are detailing the Utah Jazz, who looked like a solid young group in the 2022-23 NBA season, though it wasn't quite what we were used to in the Salt Lake City. It appears that they are adding winning habits with the right players and the right coach. That all comes after a season in which, heading into the playoffs last year, they faced a difficult decision. The Jazz had no draft assets. They were a tax team, and they were eliminated in the first round of the playoffs. So what did they decide to do? Well, the only thing that they realistically could do, which was shake it up unless if they wanted to repeat exactly what happened last year. So they turned that into a team that now has three firsts for this year, as well as 13 future first round picks. And the Jazz were still quite competitive this season amongst the top of the Western Conference towards the beginning of the year, and then finished the, the season at 37 and 45, 16 games out of first place, just five games behind the New Orleans Pelicans for the 10th spot, and <clears throat> a potential play-in spot. But, They were fourth in the Northwest. So, this begs the question whether the Utah Jazz are heading in the right direction, which, by the looks of it, yes, they are. Now, what do you do with those three picks? Well, right now, you're currently slotted to have the number 9 pick, the number 16, and the number 28. But, there is no guarantees on that yet. The draft lottery has not happened. So we'll see where the that number 9 pick actually falls. Whether you get higher, whether you get lower. When the lottery draft happens. But, what do you choose with those picks? Well, it in all honesty, depends on if you are okay with running it back with THT and Chris Dunn at the point guard position. If so, you could improve elsewhere. But if not, you could grab a guy in the later first round, maybe that you can develop. Because there's not really any free agent options out there this year that makes sense for the Jazz. Sure, you've got guys like James Harden, Kyrie Irving, and Fred Van Vliet, but realistically, those aren't guys that will help the future of this team be stable. So... In the free agency, there's really only a couple of guys here that you could go after. You have your own free agents, Jordan Clarkson, Talon Horton Tucker. Most likely, both of these guys are going to stay. They're already slotted into that cap flexibility for next year, which after that, you still have $30 million. Both of them have options. So, free agency option... Uh, I see two here potentially that will fit with this roster. If Portland decides to completely blow it up, then Jeremy Grant could be an option. He could slot in at small forward with Laurie Markinen at power forward and Walker Kessler at center. Or Nas Reed. And then you could uh, move both Kessler and Marking an up a slot 
or put just put Nas Reed at the power forward alongside Walker Kessler and move Markkinen to the small forward. But, like I said, none of the point guards here make sense. So then you've got the draft options. Well, who do you go after in the draft? Maybe Scoot Henderson, if he's available. Or do you trade up for Scoot? Jairus Walker, Brandon Miller. Maybe there's a point guard that you like that you can develop later in this draft. Not really a point guard in the top 10 this season outside of Scoot Henderson. And I don't really see Scoot as a point guard in the NBA. More of a shooting guard. But you've got the cap flexibility to maneuver with. You've got a young core in Lauren Markinen, Walker Kessler, and Colin Sexton. Markinen, the most improved player in the NBA this season. But only two spots are guaranteed in this starting rotation with Markinen and Kessler locking down. There's so it all comes to show. Do they want to spend money in Salt Lake City? Well, Danny Ainge says so. And it, he's willing to go out and give some big name guys some big name contracts and get this team back into the playoffs in the 2023-24 season. Thanks for watching this video, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Until the next NBA offseason guide, my name is Dakota Haynes, saying so long.